hello welcome to this tutorial i'm morris dimba and today i'm going to show you how to create a lean to or annex building using the peb tool or macro a lean to or an annex is simply an extension of this pre-engineered building you're seeing on the screen here which was created by a peb macro or peb system tool in tecla structures and uh, we'll get started right away here now I'll come to navigate and uh, pick options here. Under navigate, we will get the three options on how you can manipulate or walk around your model. Now we'll pick the first option, rotate with mouse, we'll pick on that, then pick uh, a point where we'll be able to uh, rotate this model. Now, uh, as I told you, lean to or an annex, just an extension of this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, building you're seeing on the screen here now I'll be using the peb frame here I'll double click here and this dialog box will pop up and in here we'll pick the appropriate choice or option that will help us create an annex or a lean to uh, structure now under this drop down arrow I'll click right, right here and pick this option this is the lean to or an annex then uh, I'll, I'll, I'll come under number of columns I don't need any and uh, to, to be sure of, of what we're doing we we'll just just get rid of this just delete that and uh, make sure you apply whatever you've uh, you've uh, you've placed inside or you've specified as your parameter and uh, the span here will, will feed in 10.7 and that's it 10 10.7 not 107 meters now we'll change this to zero and i uh, will prefix this with a negative sign though we'll, we'll we'll make sure it is 150 millimeter and this on the height here will feed five meters and we'll go to the second the second frame second tab under frame parameters in here we'll select on column one and under column one when we'll come to this drop down arrow here and we have option here we don't need any splice connection so we'll just pick none so once you've picked none all these measurements will be ignored they, they won't be uh, uh, affected or uh, reflected on the column uh, size or any splice will not appear on the column now i'll come to rafter here and, and pick on the rafter now under rafter we don't need any splice connection so i'll click under that uh, and i'll click on this drop down arrow and pick none so these measurements will not be affected at all once you've, you've picked this option none now once you've done that just come here and I click apply and uh, come to pick uh, the points that defines the uh, which defines the span of the the lean to or the annex building now i'll pick that option then i'll i'll snap on this far end and uh, stretch all the way to that end and once you've defined your two points just come here and click create and give it some time to process that information and once it's, it's done you'll be prompted with this small dialog box dialog box here written frame frames are inserted so what you do you just go ahead and click okay by acknowledging meaning you've acknowledged that the, the frames has been uh, have been created now once you've done that just go ahead again and click this okay button here to re-acknowledge that so this is how it, it will look uh, the default one so we'll just uh, comb it uh, slightly to match what we want now once we have done that now let's just go straight away and change this column to a tapered one so what i'm going to do is just to change this uh, change that to 300 and uh, just go ahead and click modify and that changes like that so i'll uh, go ahead and click apply and, uh, and click ok then come to rafter here now pri prior to changing this rafter first of all we want to extend it to be close or touch or connect it to uh, this tapered column for the main building here now I'll double click on that once I've double clicked on that I'll come to this option here then I'll click on, the, on that drop down arrow and pick this option and click OK 
so once i've done that i'll come to this option all, all this field and i want to extend this by 50 150 millimeter so you you see the, ext the direction in which it, it it is extending to so i don't want to extend uh, to uh, to to reduce the length i want to increase the length now i'll prefix this dimension with a with a negative sign which will take it right to to the side of the tapered uh, tapered column so that is the position where i want it to be on now i'll go ahead and click ok so on this rafter i want this this rafter to be a tapered rafter now i'll double click once uh, once again and uh, change this rafter so what i'm going to do is, is either change it from this uh, I'll, I'll change it by default and i'll change it under under depth definition and then i'll feed 300 De it, uh, the 300 depends on the depth of your rafter then i'll go ahead and click modify and once i've done that i'll check which direction have i reduced or have i tapered now it is the wrong direction so i'll retain the 600 and uh, target the bottom end and feed uh, 300 right there then click ok I apply and i give it an acceptance by clicking on ok right there so this is how it will look i'll right click and come to redraw and that's how it will look like uh, like that now what i'm going to do here just to slightly comb the uh, the base plate at the bottom end here i'll double click on it here then uh, the moment you double click here uh, the base plate will pop up the base plate dialog box will pop up and uh, it will come to bolts here we'll retain it at uh, m to m24 but uh, m24 it's okay and uh we'll slightly touch on the on the on the stiffeners i'll click on stiffeners here and what will change here just stiffeners and i'll click on that and apply modify and accept that so if you come to navigate here and turn try to turn this round you'll be able to see actually it has changed so we'll go to the other end though we'll come back and and uh, redo some things here or refine this uh, annex then uh, we'll come back to this now i'll come to peb frame so i'll click on that i'll double click on that once again and define the parameters here i'll pick this option annex then uh, i'll define the span of my of my annex or uh, lean to and uh, give a height of five meters here and i want to pull this to to enable us a snap at the middle of at the center of our grid then uh, remember this is, is dependent on the depth of of the tapered uh, tapered column so if it is if if it tapers down by 400 you have to feed a, a negative 300 so that the center matches the po the center of 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 this grid line now in this case it is it, it is tap it has tapered down by 300 now in this case we just prefix this by 150 now this one will change to zero and we'll, we'll retain the height at, uh, at at five meters and a uh, number of interior columns will just ignore that by by selecting none and uh, to be confident that none will appear once you, you create the annex just get rid of this and uh, apply here then come to frame para uh, frame parameters and select on the on the column then click on this drop down arrow and a number of splices select none and apply then come to rafter and also select none since this is annex and uh, this length of 10 meters or uh, uh, 12 or 10 meters is okay now i'll go ahead and uh, click apply then come to pick by se selecting the pick means you, d you are defining the point where you you are spanning from from end to now we want to span from that to this position here right there once you you've defined your points just come here and click create and give it some time to process that information immediately this dialog box small this small dialog box will appear and click by acknowledging that uh, you accept the insertion of those frames then click ok then click ok once again so zoom out and you'll be able to see whatever has been created here 
this is a default placement so you need to comb or refine this so what i'm going to do here I'll double click here and i want to let me close this first of all we'll come back to it later on now i'll change this to three a tapered rafter and i'll come to to tapered column here and i'll change this to 300 and uh, depth definition and this is how it look now i'll come to base plate i'll double click on the base plate here and i'll go straight to stiffeners and i'll change the 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 stiffeners here i'll pick uh, one of these options and click modify apply not give an acceptance by clicking on okay come to navigate and try to rotate this and see how it looks this is how it looks click on empty screen and redraw to remove any uh, signs of modification now what we are going to do here you can see a slight clash the rafter is has, has penetrated deeply into our tapered column now we want to trim that off just double click and uh, reduce the length so what we are going to do, we are going to do here just feed in 150 and click OK and see which direction is it extending to and in this particular case we want to change how it flashes with uh, with, with the tapered column so we, with the options will be picked right here we'll pick that that one and click modify and apply and give it an accept acceptance by clicking on OK now that's how it looks now we'll come to haunch here and we'll, we'll double click on this and come to parts and we'll change this width to 300 and go ahead and click apply and come to bolts here under bolts this one will, will give it m20 and uh, the, the uh, grade of the bolts will give 8.8 .8. apply that and we'll come to the bolts center to center measurements now we'll feed 150 here and come here also and we'll feed 150 and that should be okay 150 i'll come to navigate and try to rotate this this is how it looks we'll try and prefix this we'll feed it to here by that and try to see how that looks that's okay apply and I give it an acceptance by clicking on okay then uh, rotate that perfect we'll do the same thing at the end i'll come here and try and change that let me go back this end and change this also the way we've just done that double click and come to bolts and change this to 150 and give this we need two bolts at 150 center to center i'll click modify and our stiffeners will be positioned in the in the appropriate positions and the bolts also in the exact position that where we intended we intended them to be on i'll double click on the bolt here and i need some washers here i'll just check the washers and you'll see the washers appearing right there this is how it looks and this is how simple it, it looks and how this how this how it's simple to do it using the appropriate tool called the peb tool integral structures remember this you can download from civil max just get into the, uh, get get an account and get one of the macro that will simplify your work and you'll be able to work within the time frame now this is how it looks and if you want to cre create another connection right here and how, what do we do we'll come to applications and component here and we want to use this connection here I'll just click on that then we want to connect this to that this to this and this is how it look and we've created a, 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 connect, a connection right here and we'll go the other end and do exactly the same thing we we'll want to connect this to this and there that has been created and remember this is a very simple thing to do just double click and we have options here you can pick whichever options whichever option matches your connection and we just work with that bolts you can change and place the appropriate or your preferred uh, parameters now this is how it looks now we want to populate this along 
the y axis so what we are going to do uh, we make sure we select everything that we intend to populate along uh, the x uh, along the y axis so we'll select that once we've selected this end and we'll get rid of what we don't want and select all this another uh, another one right there and make sure you select that don't forget to get rid of what you don't you don't you have no intention of populating it of populating along the axis along the y axis now i've selected this lean to or annex and this one and i'll right click and come to special copy right here and click linear now on y axis here i'll use uh, the center to center or the grid measurements spanning from zero to six meters so i'll feed six meters there and uh, i'll feed the number of uh, annex rafters or uh, an, an annex rafters and columns here they should be 15. now i'll go ahead and click copy and give it some time to po populate everything along that axis and there we are everything has been copied and if you come to navigate and try to rotate this and click on empty screen to deselect whatever you selected uh, and right click and redraw to get rid of any signs of modification and this is how it looks this is how it looks and this is how simple it is to use the PEB tool to create a, a pre-engineered building system system now this is how it looks it's faster thanks a lot for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to visit our site with civilmax for access you can easily access these mac macros right there the variety of macros you can jump in have a walk pick whatever you want to, to pick download and apply thanks a lot let's meet then and don't forget again to subscribe to this to this channel bye bye